Hey everybody, this is Chad with quadquestions.com. Today I am here to bring you an exciting new product. This is the Sparrow Knight V3. It's a brand new frame that quadquestions.com is bringing to the market. It's available for pre-order at quadquestions.com. Uh, let me just go through and kind of run through a couple of the neat features that this quad has. So for starters, this is a custom molded frame. This carbon fiber has actually been through a custom mold process that's unique to the industry. Uh, it provides extra strength and support with the curved carbon fiber. You're gonna crash this thing and it's gonna disperse the weight around and outward. So it's really gonna be a very, very durable frame. It also flies extremely fast. As you can see, when this thing sits with the battery on it, those motors are actually tilted a little bit forward. So this thing pulls forward, it's super fast, it's also a ton of fun to fly in air mode, doing tricks with the battery on the bottom, really helps with your center of gravity. Uh, one other thing I wanna mention, this has a custom LED pod built into the back that you can power with your flight controller, so your LED in the rear will give you all of your uh, flight data that you need. I'll go ahead and plug this in so you can see that LED light up. If you're at home, take your props off before doing this. We're experts. As you can see on the top here, we also have this channel lock that is actually for accessories, such as your HD camera pod holder. Take this off, take the run cam off, and you'll see it just slides back and off. We're gonna have a whole bunch of different accessories for different cameras that will slide, lock into place, and provide you with a little bit of tilt so that HD camera will capture nice footage. So, so this just actually slides right back into place. You pop it down in the channel, and then you just slide it forward and it locks right into place. It's very secure. The camera on the front actually tilts up to 60, I'm oh, sorry, up to 50 degrees, but with the 10 degrees of tilt in the motors, that actually turns out to be about 60 degrees. So, uh, so in the rear of this thing, as you can see, our FPV antenna sticks out the top, and it actually goes all the way through that light pod in the back, so it holds it in there nice and secure in case of crashes. Uh, and then the back of the frame actually tapers kind of almost to a point here, which is really aerodynamic. Like I said, this thing flies faster than uh, almost any of my other quads. The only one that really even keeps up with it is our QQ190 Falcon. <laughs> On the bottom here, your battery comes through if you choose to wire it that way, which kind of keeps all of this underneath and out of the way so it's not going to hit your props. I know a lot of times these Balance plugs will go into your props. This really prevents that from happening, which is a nice feature. Also, you can actually fit your ESCs, your flight control, everything in this center body so that you don't have anything out on these arms, which really helps clean up your build. Um, it's a very simple build to put together. It's literally just two screws with, bolt, with nuts on the inside there two screws in the back which go all the way through and into that light uh, LED fixture and then uh, on the very bottom you've got two screws going through on this arm and two screws going through on this arm. Uh, and then one last thing I want to point out is that uh, you know these arms are really tough. It's 45 degree carbon. It's not likely that you're going to break them very easily but if you do uh, you can just pop a whole new arm on the front or a whole new arm on the back. Uh, we will sell those on our website. They're very replaceable and it keeps everything nice and protected in that main body. We will also have four millimeter arms available uh, if you'd like those thicker, that thicker option. So uh, it actually fits five inch props which you know is similar to a 250 size frame but as I mentioned this one is quite a bit more compact. Uh, this one is actually a 220. We will also be offering arms uh, to accommodate a smaller 4-inch prop should you choose to want to make this thing even more compact than it already is.
I want to mention, folks, this has the new F3 Fury flight controller in it. It's beautiful. You can see it through the top there. It's an eye popping red color. Uh, this board, I really like it. It has the 6000 MPU gyro in it, which has low noise, which is really nice, uh, similar to what was in the old Naze 32. And this has a built in SD card slot for recording black box easily. Um, and the one last thing I really love about this flight control is that you can direct solder all your wires to it. Kind of similar to a KISS flight control or a LUX with the pads mounted right on the front and back of this flight control. Uh, folks, this is officially my new favorite frame. This thing is so much fun to fly. In air mode with it activated always, this thing just freaking maintains its elevation. You do flips, rolls, spins, twirls, whatever you want. And I gotta tell you, you're still way off the ground. You've got plenty of time to keep doing spins and flips and rolls. It's awesome. It hovers, it floats, it flies. So what is a good recommended setup for this frame? Well, I found uh, while building this, I tried a few different types of motors. The ones that I found that really worked well were the 2206-2350s. Uh, we have those in stock at quadquestions.com. They're the Lumineers. I really like those. Uh, just they, they provide ample power. Uh, I have gone ahead and put some BL Heli S FBT ESCs in here. Uh, those are all in the inside of the frame. I just find that those ESCs, they just, they're so smooth. They require very little tuning. You still need to tune them, but when you run Betaflight 3.0, which is what I've loaded on this Fury board, and you combine that with those BL Heli S ESCs, it is, it's just, it's un, unparalleled. It's, uh, it's requires very, very, very little tuning, which I like in a quad, because if I have to tune less of it, I can spend more time outside flying and having fun. Um, like I said, the flight control board I chose in this is the Fury F3 with the integrated SD card holder for easy black box usage. Uh, you could put any flight control in here that you wanted. You do want to keep your stack pretty low, So, but any standard size PDB with a flight control board without pins sticking out should fit nicely in here. What did I say about removing props? That's why. So, subscribe to our channel. We will be releasing this October 10th. Check it out at quadquestions.com. <laughs>